We get to the main event here, NXT Championship. Adam Colt, Maso Ciampa, a feud that's been in the works now for a long time. Now, you talk about long-term booking. NXT's done a great job of this. Like, you popped huge when Ciampa came back. That was four months ago, dude. They've done a good job of keeping them at bay. They haven't thrown this away on an episode of NXT. They've kept them apart. Ciampa pinned him a takeover a couple months ago. They had that awesome contract signing where Ciampa was bloody and the belt was bloody. Goldie was bloody. It was a great sight. It was a great segment. Um, this should be good. My Again, my, my concern is that they blow it off here before WrestleMania weekend because what else do you do? I feel like a rematch has got to be inevitable because I don't know what other feud you build up in time for WrestleMania weekend, which is like six, seven weeks away. But I do think all signs point to Ciampa becoming champion at one point. At some point, I think it would be better suited over Mania weekend. And if by that point, if they keep the belt on Cole past the show then he will be, by April, that first weekend of April, the longest reigning NXT champion of all time. So, selfishly, I would like to see him retain here, keep the feud going, and I think it means more to have Ciampa win it there as opposed to win it here, and then they do a rematch, and then Ciampa wins again, and then maybe they go to the main roster, which, I mean, I know that's inevitable too, but I feel like NXT needs them right now, at least with the tag team division. Anyway, um, I think Adam Cole retains, so what say you, Mr. Marceau? I was just going to say the exact same thing. I think, I think Cole's going to retain here as well, like, Champa winning would be big, but, like, the rematch, like, at WrestleMania weekend wouldn't be as big as if it was Cole and Champ again, but Cole is the champion defending again. So I'm assuming there'll probably be some kind of shenanigans. Champa loses. goes after the, He can just go after the Undisputed Eric leading into WrestleMania, clears them all out, per se, and then just faces Cole one-on-one. Maybe they have some kind of stipulation or something. Um, then he wins there, and like you said, Undisputed Era goes the main roster from there. Um, I think that makes more sense. Like, Champa winning would be big as well, like him getting his title back and such. But then I feel like the main year match at Tampa would not be as big if it was Champa defending against Cole, because you know Champa's going to win. Yeah, that, that to me feels like an exact repeat of when Bobby Roode beat Nakamura for the belt in January, and they did a rematch Ugh. over Mini Weekend, which made... I mean, again, it was a good match, but, like, it was the main event of that WrestleMania weekend show. It was easily the weakest takeover we've ever been to. I, I think that's pretty safe to say. It was easily. A, it was a good show. Easily the weakest. Easily the weakest. Good match, but, like, dude, it was no drama. You knew Nakamura was main roster bound. It, to me, it makes no sense in retrospect. Why didn't... I don't know. It just... I mean, I hope they don't do that because that was very underwhelming. Um... So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this match. I'm looking forward to the show. Should be great. NXT never ceases to deliver. 